Hi guys, welcome back. Uh, this is Sen again from Cork and Canvas. We're going to be doing another project today, uh, another DIY, um, yeah, just arts and craft project for home. Um, for today, we're going to be doing a melted crayon painting. Now for this, uh, all you'll need is a hairdryer, um, you'll need a stack of crayons, you can use as many or as few as you want. Um, I would also recommend having a marker pen on board. And then if you want to use a piece of cardboard or paper or, or whatever, maybe a piece of wood, uh, you just need a surface to be able to do the artwork on. Um, I'm going to be using canvas today. So basically how this works is uh, you heat up the crayons and melt them onto the canvas and then turn it into an artwork. Um, today I'm going to make a melting paintbrush and for mine as well, I'm going to be using a hot glue gun to stick the crayons onto the canvas. Now you don't have to use one of these. If you do have a hot glue gun at home, I'm just going to warn you these do get really hot. And if you're doing this with your kids, make sure um, that they're there with an adult um, and that there's someone to take care of them. Maybe make sure that you do it. Uh, but obviously you don't have to use this. If you if you want to hold these over the canvas and just melt them with the hot, with the hair dryer you can do that I'll demonstrate that later or you can stick them on with blue tack or just hold them down while you heat it up all right so for the project that I'm doing today um, what I'm going to start off by doing is just lining all of these up on the canvas where I want them in I'm going to do them in a rainbow arrangement you can do it in whatever arrangement you'd like All right, so as you can see, I've already started. Um, I've glued down the first one, and all I'm going to do is just a little bit of hot glue along here like this. And roll my crown along. All right, and then I'll do the next one. The next one down. Just slowly line those up. The idea is just to stick those down. All right, so now we've let our canvas dry for maybe five minutes or so, and it should look a little bit like this. So the crayons, as you can see, are stuck on the canvas. And this now allows me to be able to use my hairdryer and to be able to blow on the um, crayons and allow them to melt. Now, when you're doing this part, make sure whichever angle you're holding the canvas, you're holding it the angle that you want your drips to go down at, okay? So obviously I'm going to want mine to dribble diagonally across the canvas. So I'm going to hold it at an angle. And what I've also done is I've stuck some paper down on the table so that when I'm melting the crayons, it's not going to dribble everywhere because this can get a little bit messy, but it is fun. All right, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to hold this now over the paper and I've got my trusty hairdryer here. And what I'm going to do is just start holding the uh, hairdryer over the crayons. All right, so we have melted our crayons and what I have done is I've drawn uh, just a little bit of a design of a handle on the end here in pencil. Um, I've done this so that I've got a basic idea of where I'm going to paint this or where I'm going to draw this out using my marker pen. So I've got my, my permanent marker here and what I'm going to do is just outline where the handle of my paintbrush is going to go. I'm going to keep it really simple. Just do a bit of a cartoon handle there. Like so. 
so I'm gonna give it a couple of pins in there to hold the bristles in place and I just want to give it a bit of edging as well be a hole to be able to hang it on the wall Last thing that I'm going to do is just spray a couple of black spots over the top of this using one of the last crowns. Um, all right, so as I was saying before, you don't have to use hot glue to stick the crayons down. If you want to, you can drip it directly from the crayon using the hot glue, uh, the hairdryer. So what I'm going to do is just hold my crayon over the top and just get a couple of really nice spots across the canvas. All right, so here's our final piece. That'll look good. So every week we're going to be coming back with uh, more of these art projects for you to do at home. Um, stay tuned and again make sure that you comment down below by posting the artwork in the comments and share them with your friends make sure that they've got a chance to be able to get involved as well and let's all get creative together see you next time